Today we're at the International Sportsman's Expo in Denver, Colorado, and we're with Colorado Teardrops. And this is Dean. Dean, thanks for having us. Thank you. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this uh, trailer. So this is a 2018 Summit uh, Teardrop. Uh, she's got a mirrored finish, which is really cool when you pull her uh -huh. in the forest. <laughs> it uh, reflects the forest around yeah. you. Know, your campfire. Uh, she's set up to sleep a family of four, which is uh, two children in bunk beds, and then mom and dad or whomever in a queen size bed below. Uh, currently, though, she's uh, configured to be uh, two couches facing uh, one another, yep. a table in the middle. Uh, quality construction, durable off road, ready to rock. Yep. Uh, we're also showing off a box wing uh, awning and uh, rooftop uh, tent. Yep. So you have the rooftop tent on there. Tell us a little bit about how the roof is constructed that can actually handle it. So all welded aluminum frame with appropriate uh, bracing so that uh, the trailer is actually engineered so that we can flip the entire trailer over and uh, she won't dent or crush it. So oh, cool. Nice, tough construction. Yeah. I think one of the cool things is check out these. <laughs> These, these are 35 inch tires. Uh, so for all of you that want to go off road and have the same tire that's possibly on your tow vehicle, you can do that with these guys. And that's also a torsion axle, right? It is a torsion axle, 3,500 pound torsion axle. And there's also a full skid plate underneath. Okay, so uh, made tough. So the bottom's totally protected if you hit it. Uh, absolutely uh, wrapped in skid. Yeah, great. All right. And this guy here. Uh, so uh, th with this customer, we knew we were going to put a rooftop tent in, so okay. this is their ventilation. There's actually two fans on one side, two fans on the other side, so they can quickly cool down your uh, teardrop. Okay, so you're saying instead of having... Uh, yeah, you so, still have the fan, but uh, yes. And this uh, customer, he wasn't sure when he was going to go with the rooftop tent, so okay. he uh, personalized his teardrop by adding the side fans as well. Okay. All right. All right. And the, yeah. And so basically, when somebody comes to you, they can you, your customization level is basically what the customer wants, or do you have a certain? Yeah. Well, we we have a uh, footprint, if you will, that we uh, personalize our teardrops. Yeah. Uh, but we interview our customer, understand their needs, their activities as they go off road or in the backwoods, what are they going to do, so that we can support those activities. Okay. Great. Nice. Right. So let's take a look at the inside. All right. So. The inside again, you carried that um, beetle kill wood in here, which looks great. Thank you. Tell us a little bit how you can configure this, and especially about these guys up here, the bunk beds. Certainly, certainly. So uh, if we start with the bunk beds, uh, they're engineered to hold uh, two children uh, up to five feet long. We like to say small kids or large dogs. They come with bunk rails so that the uh, kids don't uh, roll out of bed and crush mom and dad in the yep. middle of the night, as kids like to do. Uh, additionally, if we pull that leg up, this folds down and it becomes comes a couch. So the bunk bed converts to a couch. This couch over here is actually a queen size bed that uh, when the floor panels move back over and the tables uh, disassembled and put under the floor, this is uh, six foot six from here all the way back under the couch. I'm sorry. Move this a little bit. And you can see it's six foot six from here all the way back. Yeah. This folds into a queen size bed. Plenty of storage for family, uh, nice warm, uh, lots of ventilation. Uh, typically we put a sunroof up here as well, but this customer knew he was getting a tent and therefore didn't want the sunroof up there. Yeah, and we had the opportunity of taking one of your other models out, it's very similar to this. And the storage we just thought was amazing, like, it's really deceiving. Uh, I'm 6'3 or so and this, there's plenty of room here, so even just looking at it in couch mode, it's hard to see that it's actually a queen size bed. And if you don't have kids, this is a great area just to store stuff. Absolutely. You throw a bunch of stuff up here, you got storage up there, so, and all the lights are LED. Yeah, yeah, so, so the, they sip power. Uh, yep. um, we'll have to charge it over a four day period, maybe once, and we have the lights going all show long. Yeah. And there's some models where you're using the goal zero, and other models uh, they may put their own system in there. And yeah, or we'll, we'll put our uh, system in there, which is a deep cycle glass cell okay. batteries, 52 amp hours. Yeah. Uh, okay. But we prefer the goal zero because that allows the power unit to have multiple uses, gotcha. in the sense that you can take it out of the trailer and use it for another purpose, to yeah. power a party at the beach or what have you. Yeah. And that's is awesome too. Like as Dean was saying 
find that this converts into a, a sofa if you put this uh, bunk down. Four adults can easily fit in here if you got a rainy day or you just wanted to hang out, play cards, and right. weather wasn't nice. So that's yeah. actually pretty awesome. Yeah, it's not an RV. You're still camping. Uh, You're camping. So this yeah. is uh, this is just to get you out of the rain, play some Yahtzee while it rains at four o'clock in the high country, yeah. which it does. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, and get back outside and do that hike. And the whole floor is set up with storage. Yeah, you got some storage, so you can put blankets and anything else that yeah, you just don't yeah, use all, all the time. Your or rain gear, your ski gear, what yeah. have you. Yeah. All right. So we are in Galley. Tell us a little bit about Galley here. Uh, so this is a summit teardrop with uh, Beetle Kill uh, finishing tier. Uh, nice shelving all laid out. She's got uh, 12 gallons of water underneath here. Uh, sink pan, uh, nice LED lights. Uh, the uh, Galley doors swing in to hold our tulips and such, so they all disappear. Over on the other side we have uh, a stove uh, mounted there. Uh, so uh, ergonomics are real important to us. This is all about ergonomics, uh, transporting your family and then making a wonderful meal. Yeah. I think the cool thing with what you got here is we can, anyone can customize it to how they want to work. So whether they're having different containers and stuff like that, they just set up how, how are they like. That's correct, yes. So yeah. uh, we'll personalize that to meet your gear. And for the folks out there that don't know what beetle kill, what is, Sorry. tell us a little bit about it. So unfortunately in our mountains uh, throughout Colorado, we've had a beetle uh, eat a lot of pine trees. And uh, as they do so, they emit a blue stain into the wood. And you can see that in the grain pattern. So our forests are full of purple trees uh, that we uh, cut down and mill and make uh, teardrop trailers. As far as goes, so you're doing something good by using wood that otherwise yes, is not used as much. <laughs> All right, All right. Let's take a look at uh, on the other side, on the passenger side. Okay. All right. So now we're on the uh, driver's side. Yes. And uh, tell us a bit about this. This is awesome. Oh, thank you. This is a uh, on-demand hot water shower slash hot water dishes solution. Um, under the floor in the galley, we have 12 gallons of water that's accessible. Here, so you uh, you grab your water here, put it in this, and that water becomes instantly hot uh, with, of course, propane uh, heating uh, that water. And then, of course, it's ruggedized with a uh, pelican box yeah. so that uh, you can keep it out here all the time. Yeah, of course, that's lockable, uh, but it's really convenient after a day or two to be able to take a good hot oh, yeah. water shower. Absolutely. And of course, doing the dishes. If you have, uh, you know, a nice big uh, steak in the evenings to get all the grease yeah. off those knives and forks and those plates, nothing better. Awesome. This is a must. All right, again. So we are at the Colorado Teardrops booth at the International Sportsman's Expo. This is the summit. It's awesome. You guys need one. Reach out to Dean at ColoradoTeardrops.com to get yours. Thanks, Dean. Thank you. Thank you, Ken.